All right, in this video, we're gonna tackle a common challenge that many agency owners face. Why you're not getting more clients. And look, I've been in your shoes and I know the struggles that you're facing. So let's dive right into it and discover the key reasons why your agency might be struggling to attract more clients. So the first real reason that agencies are not getting clients is they're just not reaching out to enough people. So this simply could be attributed to just insufficient outreach, right? Like many agencies find themselves in this predicament of hoping that clients will naturally gravitate towards them, relying on word of mouth, relying and on referrals. However, today in a competitive landscape of the agency space, it's paramount to be reaching out and be going on the offense. So if we don't do this, if we're not reaching out to people, your business is literally just going to plateau and even decline. So the solution simply just relies on proactive outreach. Basically, all you need to do is pick one channel. So we love cold email. We love cold SMS. We love building our brands on social media. And these three channels for us, allow us to funnel in new clients consistently and not having a dried up pipeline. And this was something that really resonated with me because you know I was of the mindset of, okay, if I just post content, if I build my brand, then I'm gonna get all these clients and da 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 da. But it just wasn't predictable. Like I wasn't creating that predictability in the business that the team trusted me to create. So I personally knew that if I'm just building my brand or just doing one channel of posting content perhaps, I'm not creating predictability in the business and I'm not actively reaching out to people consistently to actually drum people in. So what I did is I came up with a channels, a couple of channels that I really wanted to go all in on. That was cold email and cold SMS. And as I made the transition from, you know, just relying on referrals and word of mouth to these outbound methods, it created so much peace of mind for our agency because I knew it was something that I could turn on and turn off as needed. And it was paramount in our growth as an agency. Second reason that you're probably not getting new clients is you lack a clear offer. It is all about your message, what you offer, and how you say it. If you're scratching your head about what your business does, you've got a problem and it's going to only confuse the clients that you're talking to. Let's break it down. If you're on a sales call, if you're in an elevator, if you're talking to a prospect and someone says, what does your business do? And your answer is kind of all over the place or it's not really clear, that is a big red flag. But here's the good part. Fixing it is fairly simple, but hard for a lot of people because they want to be able to serve everybody. They want to be able to do everything for anybody. But when you explain your business clearly, people will understand. When they understand, they're more likely to buy if you are in fact solving the pain points. And another good thing is if you can explain it to one person, then they can clearly explain it to the next person. That's going to only increase referrals and more people knowing what you do and how you solve the pain points. So when it comes to like a lack of clear offer in my experience, like we used to be a yes man. We said yes to graphics. We said yes to website. We said yes to SEO. And what that did when we were on calls, it simply just like diluted trust, right? Because we weren't talking to our clients specific pain points. We were trying to be more prescriptive, I guess you can say, and being more of like a yes person versus being a leader and being confident with what we could offer them to solve their pain points. If you have a clear offer with a clear message of how you solve the prospects pain points that will magnetize people into it, build trust with you that you can then solve their problems with that specific offer. Like before we were doing like $250,000, $700,000 a year. And once we were able to dial in our offer and make our message super clear and productize our service, that's what got us to that 2 million mark. The third reason that you're probably not getting new clients for agency is you have inconsistent sales frameworks. So this is really broken into a couple pieces. First is the pre-call process. So before you even pick up the phone to have a conversation with the prospect, are you getting no-shows? Are people confused on what you're doing? Are they coming in late? Are they coming in not really knowing what that call is even about? It's crucial that your pre-call process can vet the clients. You can send them reminders and make sure that they know exactly what's going to happen on the discovery call so that when you have the discovery call, they are ready and warmed up and ready to close. Second part of the sales process or the sales framework is essentially the sales call framework, right? Like if you're just jumping on a call with somebody and you don't have a framework that you're following when you're on the sales calls, the prospect is going to end up confused. They're going to end up not really knowing what you offer. You are going to be confused on how to communicate your offering to the client. And it's just going to be a mess and your closing rate is going to be significantly lower than if you were to invest in a sales process. And the last process of this is effective follow-up protocol. So closing a deal isn't always going to happen on the first call. Many times it's about following up. So maintaining the 
clear and systematic protocol for your follow-ups is absolutely vital. This demonstrates your commitment to them and keeps your offering fresh in their mind. Consistent follow-ups show persistence and build a sense of trust as you genuinely showed interest in them in solving their problems. To solve this problem, what you'll need to do is have a good pre-call process. What are the notifications? What are the reminders that you're sending to the prospects? You're not just saying, hey, your call is coming up. You're, hey, your call is coming up. Send them a VSL. Send them some information on people that you've helped. Send them some information about what the call is actually going to be about so that they're warmed up when they do, in fact, get on the call. It's not necessarily about the quantity of calls all the time, but the quality that you're doing in a pre-call process is going to do that for you. Then on your sales framework, make sure you have a framework that you're following one time every time. This is not only going to help you as a salesperson, but when you hire a salesperson, they're going to have a framework that they can follow, that you've recorded, that you've mastered over time. And then lastly, put follow-up systems in place. Get an email drip newsletter. Get something in place that you can consistently follow up with them and be persistent because the fortune, again, is in the follow-up. So the fourth reason that you're probably not getting deals for agency is that you're neglecting your brand building. Look, everybody wants the bottom of the funnel, the sale, the closed deals, but they're not investing time into their brand as an agency owner. Without a strong brand, you're literally just going to leave your customers confused and not really clear on what you do, which is going to not build trust with them and then also not position you for inbound referrals. If you can be posting content, if you can be creating social proof for your agency, what this is going to do, it's going to scale trust with your agency, which makes selling way easier and increases your likelihood of actually getting referrals and inbound business. This is something that we really spent a lot of time on. I mean, we grew to our first million dollars directly just from having a brand. And when we are not active, when we're not posting, people are like, hey, what's going on? What's going on? And we're like, oh shoot, you actually are paying attention to this. And they're following our agency. They're following me and getting a sense of what it's like to work with our agency. So to do this, again, what you need to do is you need to define your brand identity. This isn't just a logo. This isn't just colors. It is the values that you're your agency offers that you can then communicate. It will attract the clients that are like you and attract clients that are like your values, which is extremely important because you want to work with people that you like. Second thing is you need to be posting content consistently. I know brands and social media and stuff like that, it kind of seems like a non ROI activity, but this at the end of the day, from a long term perspective is going to be valuable. Add value on social media to people. Show the work that you're doing. Show people that you're busy. Be clear on your messaging on who you're serving and how you're serving them. Show them behind the scenes and the stories. Be consistent with this, and you will reap the benefits of trust, which will make, again, sales way easier. All right, y'all, we covered a lot. Now it's time to go execute. Hopefully you liked this video. If you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up if you found value in it. Also be sure to subscribe to the channel if you are an agency owner. Leave a comment down below with any questions about any of these topics, or if you'd like any other videos, future videos around this type of stuff. And if you are an agency owner and you're looking to scale that 50 to $100,000 per month mark, create some predictability in your business, feel free to book a call with our team down below where we can talk about how we can help you out. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you on the next one.